How's everybody doing? This is Cal here from Calcraft. Today we're building tiny houses. Some of you may like these small houses. Some of you may like living in a big house. Some of you may like living in these tiny houses while you build your big house. I don't know. Whatever your use may be, I came up with four designs for tiny houses for you to live in when you start up your survival game and while you advance further in your world. They incorporate the four basic needs of a fresh world, a safe bed, storage, furnaces, and a crafting table. Now, I personally like living in a big house, that's why these designs are intended for just a decent looking place to stay while you get started, and that's why they can easily be fully built in the first night of Minecraft survival. Now I came up with four designs. Obviously, there's about a million designs out there, but these are four I came up with that all look decently good and optimize different things. This is the first design I made. It's 4x4 in size, but decently spacious feeling inside. It's geared out with four furnaces, two double chests, and a crafting table, and a safe bed of course. Next up, the smallest one, 3x4 in size, very tight as you can see inside, but once again, geared out with your equipment. This one's a different take. You walk in, it's the smallest possible space you can get to get a ladder, safe ladder in there, climb down, and have your base down on the ground. And this is my favorite design by far. Looks great on the outside, very spacious inside, geared out with four double chests, plenty of furnaces, crafting table and bed, and a nice, nice, spacious, beautiful looking build, but small. Design one. All right, now I'll walk you through it. We're gonna start off with cowl on the bottom for trim, come around with this shape, come across, then throw in some furnaces, stack them up, two and two. We're gonna loop back around, get our double chests stacked on top of each other. These form the walls, both the furnaces and the chests form walls. We're gonna dig out that ground, put an oak for the floor. Come across oak on the sides for walls. That'll stack up our walls all the way. Come back to the front, a little bit of fence details to make the house and the build look a little bit better. Fence back there for a window in the back. Loop all the way back around. And now it's time to put some oak slabs on top. This is going to be our roof. Come across in that little circle, stack it up, get that middle stacked up right there, and then follow this shape connected in the back. Finally, throw in your oak door, a torch on the side, torch in there, your bed down so you can sleep, and you're all set with this nice little spacious room. A nice 4x4 build. Design 2 the smallest bed space you can make. Three by four in size, we're gonna start off with that cobble again, a little bit smaller. Oak wood up for the walls, dig out the floor, put in some oak wood there. We're gonna come across, put our double chests in. Now we're gonna stack some furnaces on the side, crafting table up in the top left of those furnaces. Throw your bed down. Now the door is important, make sure you follow along on screen exactly how I place it. You need to have that block clear so that you can spawn in. Then come across oak slabs on top for the roof once again. Stack it up. We're gonna give it a little bit of shape with a T. And then come out front and finish up the detail so it looks good. And that's it looking good. Now you can make this additional detail, it makes the house look even better, it's not as small and compact, but it looks better in my opinion, and it prevents you from spawning outside sometimes, which does happen if you don't have this in place. Design 3. Alright, just that little hut we went over before. Cobbled down for the trim once again, smallest possible build here, oak wood walls coming across, we're going to stack those up, come out front, dig out a little bit. Oak wood block first, and then we're gonna dig out this cobble. We have to dig it out, make sure it goes nice and deep down. It looks better to have the cobble file suit all the way down, nice and flush. Then we'll come back, put some oak wood slabs on top for the roof, and your oak door. Walk in, put your ladders all the way down so that you can get down to your secret hole, a torch in there for light, and it's all set. Design four. Last but not least, my favorite build. Probably the most expensive, but these houses are so small that they're not very expensive at all. Oak wood logs up. We're gonna stack those up three high each one. It's four by four, so they're on each corner. Then we drop down in front, put in some furnaces. Right in front there. Dig out the ground for some oak wood. That's gonna be our floor once again. 
Double chest on the side, both sides, so we got four. Furnace is in the back with that crafting table in the top left corner again. Oak wood slabs looping across. Fit in nicely right there. Then we're going to stack up there, so follow along on screen and make that roof flush with those oak wood slabs. Door out front. Walk in, throw down your bed, add in a torch, walk back out, and you're all set. Beautiful looking build. A nice, compact 4x4, beautiful looking tiny house. And there it is, four tiny house designs for you to build. Now my recommendation is to start up your survival world and throw them in there, gather some resources, build your mansion afterwards, or live in them for a while. They're small but fun houses to build. And it was a fun project for me to do, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you get a chance to build one of these designs, or gathered inspiration and came up with your own tiny house design. And of course, make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. But that's it. Thanks for coming.